Today, the world mourns the loss of a great soul. In times like these, when words fail, we look to our poets to articulate the great cost of freedom. My late daughter captures that enormous cost in her debut collection, Maya. Composed in 1930 while Gandhi led the Salt March, Maya's What is Maya really? A good Brahmin would say that is that Maya is the cosmic illusions that surround and deceive us. Time, our own bodies, even death. But I was never a very good Brahmin. For me, Maya is simply the name of my only child. But I will say this. If the business of understanding Maya is confronting your illusions, all you need to do is try and raise a daughter. This book is all I have left of her. I think about the way things were back then and now and how the uncertainty never ends. To believe it will is another illusion, I suppose. All I can do is share her words. And in that, I keep her alive. My daughter isn't gone. Not really. She's right here with us in this very room. She's sent her first collection of poetry to the Cambridge University Press, and she's bound and determined to be the best and brightest British poet of the century. In summary, I hope you consider publishing these little songs. Sincerely, Maya Mehta. And there will come a day You'll write back to me You'll write me back and say You're everything we hoped you'd be The poems you write, dear, are perfectly splendid And you impressed us like none of the men to say 
hardly the first mother to say that I had a different plan for my daughter. She was to be married to a handsome Gujarati prince, a match that took a lot of effort to secure. But Maya had fallen for some local British officer. As if that weren't enough to ruin my sleep, a Dalit girl named Harini had also come back to our town with Gandhi and the Salt March. She was the same age as Maya and her mother used to be our maid. If Maya was a proper Brahmin girl, she wouldn't even dare touch Harini's shadow, much less consider Harini her closest friend. Harini, what are you doing here? I'm walking. Should you be in this neighborhood? I mean, it's not safe for, you know... For women? No, for... well, for... I know what you meant. Your concern is noted, but I'm just passing through. When did you join all these... I've been living with Gandhi's ashram for a while now. Oh, what about Aya? Your Aya. My mother's name is Agni. Your servants have names. Of course. Is she walking with you, too? She died. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. There's a lot to do before tonight. Uh, come back! I don't serve you anymore. No, not like that. I'm so lost, Harini. I don't know where else to turn. There's this man, Lawrence, a British man, an officer, and despite myself, I have fallen in love with him, but my parents have matched me Maya, with somebody else. you're every bit as blind as I remember. I'm sorry? I've been through 15 cities this month, and you're no different from all the other people we've seen. People who fill their houses with servants, fill their tables with salt and spices, fill their wardrobes with silk dresses... They all watch this march from behind their windows and sip their chai and view our march as nothing but an embarrassment or an inconvenience. Then they come out to hear Gandhi speak because, goodness, it's Gandhi after all, isn't it? And then they applaud. We leave and they stay and carry on with their perfect lives and perfect little problems. You've never known a day of suffering, Maya. It's my fault. Let me let your mother go because of me because I was spending too much time with you. I'll never forget waking up that morning and running down to play with you, and you weren't there. I didn't know what to do. Let me make it up to you, somehow. If only I had known about Aya, uh, Agni, I would have- I don't need your pity. Don't need you at all. Freedom is my focus. All you are is small. I need is action, turning word to deed, that is all that matters, that is all I need. You want to help, then try something new, if you feel oh so lost, here's what you do. Freedom is here in your town, we're gathering by thousands at sunset. Take an empire down Freedom that comes at a price By people who understand sacrifice And the stronger we get The sooner we'll set India free I could give you a chance If you come with me To the march? You could hear Gandhi speak tonight to start And then, yes And what happens when the march is over? Then the struggle continues until when? Until we're free. Or dead. Those are my options? Freedom or death? You know, there's more than one kind of freedom. No, there really isn't. I have the means to take us anywhere in the world. Just think about it. We could be free Chasing a sunrise in Cairo Or a sunset in Tuscany We would be free As your servant. As the friends we should have been. There's no such thing as untouchability in the West. And once Lawrence gets I off I can't post, believe you. You realize marching to protest attacks won't change anything. You're afraid to march. No, I'm not. I'm offering you a way out. We could be Freedom free. Freedom is here in your town. Chasing a sunrise in Cairo. We're gathering by thousands or at a sunset. sunset in Tuscany. To take an empire down. Be freedom comes out Having of red wine in Spain and land by the sea By people who understand Why sacrifice? You're not listening, You're to, not me. listening to me You and I well, if we never agree. agree All right, all right, all right Don't 
come with me. We'll be gone in the morning, and you can forget about me again and go back to deciding which man you want more. There will be soldiers. The Viceroy tripled the military presence by the salt banks. Did your lover tell you that? He did. It could be dangerous. Just thought you should know. Anyway, good luck. Maya. As long as you're his, you'll never really be free. He'll be an empire and you'll be a colony. Maya didn't come home that night. I waited up for her, torn between fear of a scandal and fear for her safety. By the morning, I sent my husband to find her. I remember asking, is this the end of all we built? become a revolutionary. What would become of the rest of us?